What's up everybody, this is Alpha here. I'm gonna do a review on a new episode of Cyanide Heroin no Soda Soda Takeda. Now I bet y'all might be surprised like I'm how I'm getting this review up really quick. Now I'll let y'all know that I did watch I did watch it at school I, I did watch watch it at school, you know. Those of you who kept up with me would know what I've been doing in my in my in my everyday life, anyway, in my daily procedure. Anyways, um I watched this episode I was kind of a little a bit annoyed a bit, just being honest with you. I mean, kind of went through a little thing here and there going like, okay, what the heck is going on here? So, if anything else, let's go. Okay, at the beginning we see to it that um, our buddy Tomoya is like trying to get things straight, you know, with the other heroine, with the other girls trying to fix the game up, you know, here and there, and Kato doing the voice acting, and things did not really look out so well. Later, when he entered the restroom, he realized that his there's a girl in there. He goes like, what the heck just happened? He screams out, and then it's his cousin whatsoever, and they actually talk to each other, blah, 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 understand the situation, and I go like, so you ran away from home because your family's fighting. Ain't that interesting? And etc. As as the episode progresses, we see to it that they're still working on the game, and Tomoe is really, really tired because... His cousin, um, I think Mitru, the one that plays the band, the one that plays the, that plays in the band, I believe, um, gave him a little hard time. And as for Utaha, she wants to help out. However, Eri gets really ticked off and locks her up in the, in another room where the voice is at, you know. And of course, like um, Tomoya gets a little text message from his cousin, um, Mitru, I believe. And later on, Kato actually read it, like, unknowingly for Tomoya, and Eri took the phone and looked at it, and therefore, he what they, Utaha and Eri end up interrogating him. And he explains the whole thing, how he was with her, like, from birth to right now, and then it's like, what the heck, Utaha and Eri's all, like, all shocked in emotion, and they all, and Eri on the other hand was brain dead, and I'm like, thinking in my mind, oh, you gotta be joking. Michio actually gave Tomoya a hard time because she threw away all of his like otaku related stuff out in the garbage and he had to get it back, you know, and he was pretty ticked off about that. And as the episode goes on and progressing, we see to it that um, Tomoya goes, take a shower, and then when he hears his cousin Michio playing a guitar and he told him, he told him not to do the amplifier thing, he realized how good she is and then at the end he's like, hey, Join me in making a dating sim game, and then his towel drops, and I'm looking at my mind, dude, that is so pathetically cliche how to do things in this episode, okay? Like, yeah. Honestly, Simon was actually on a good run, I'm not gonna lie, okay? But right now, this is just like kinda tone, kinda brought it down a bit. Just being a little honest, okay? Like, Tomoya goes up to his room, goes to Michu, goes to his room, and Michu's playing the guitar in a towel. I'm thinking in my mind, dude! Get in a freaking change of clothes, you stupid! Yeah, just the ending really take me off. Anyways, it was probably in a okay or below it. So just being just being honest. So if anything else, I'm just gonna end it here, people. My next review will be Sokyo no Fafner. I know I'm very very late. I'll try to watch it as fast as I can after I upload this and take care of a couple things. And I'll see y'all till then. I'm off of zero. Have a good day, and I'll see you guys next time. I'm Next time, alright? Peace out. Bye-bye.